Yeah, it's a wild card. Nice. This is John Paulus. You're listening to Life's Potluck Buffet. Stick around. It's going to be a great show today. And thanks for listening. Okay, so I drew one of the three wild cards in the Life's Potluck Buffet card deck. And as you'll remember, there are three suits. There are the yellow lemons, the magenta noodles, and the blue dumplings. And the yellow lemon suit has, in the wild card has three stars. And those three stars correspond to the three Life's Potluck Buffet rules. Rule number one, get people's names right. Rule number two, there are no rules, i.e. be like Salvador Dali. And rule number three is that story you told about someone else is actually about you. Remember that one? We've talked about that one a lot. And so this one is three stars. And that is the wild card with a bowl on it. It's got the outline of a bowl. It's blank. And it says, say what you'd like to have in this bowl. It can be anything. Now say why you chose what you did and who or what can make it appear. As I mentioned in yesterday's episode about letting the back of your mind do the work by focusing on a task or focusing on something, that is what this wild card does. So it's kind of nice that I I pulled it after I talked about the back of your mind having a full-time job. In the same way that when I was working on those chairs, refinishing them, I was letting the content of these cards percolate in the back of my mind. You can do the same thing with any of the cards. And the wild cards are pretty good at this, especially, I feel like, because they because they're so open-ended and fun, and that really allows me to let go and just kind of feel like, okay, what do I want here? When I pulled this card, I immediately thought of, I want this bowl filled with keys, and I want those keys to be keys to safety deposit boxes. And maybe in the safety deposit boxes, there are deeds and treasure maps and things like that. I, I find that I'm thinking of paper objects, not antique currency, but things like those deeds and the treasure maps, and that's that's what's coming to my mind. So I think there's both an element of surprise that I'm hoping for here, to be surprised by something. I th- I'm thinking about work-related things, because these are all papers and documents. I don't think it means I need to be you know, go into the mortgage business or the title, work for a title company or a a city's registry of deeds. But I think that there's something in those official documents or in the treasure map that I'm thinking of now. They're written. There's art involved. This is kind of indicative of the work that I do. So it means that I'm kind of looking for surprises going forward in the work that I do and I'm hoping for surprises and that's why that's what I want in that bowl that's what I really am expecting and hoping for so I think that's how this card is working for me today it's working for me to think about the expectations of good things happening it's also worth thinking about who is putting in my case who is putting the keys in the bowl And again, I'm thinking about a person who is working in real estate. I think that's because that's usually who gives you keys to things. (laughs) But the person I'm thinking about doesn't, doesn't do that. Their job is different. I feel like the reason that I'm thinking about this person is because it's a person who I had the opportunity to talk to them about being on board with work I was doing at that time. And I think that that kind of person is the person who get, who provides the keys to these 
safety deposit boxes, safe deposit boxes? I guess you could say both, but I think safe deposit is the more common one. What do you say? Do you say safety deposit box or safe deposit box? Well, nonetheless, that idea of safety safe, you know, all, that makes sense to me too, right? Because these are these are safe investments. These are safe things that are going to be present in my life, right? So I, I, I like that. I like that fact that I went there with that. In the back of my mind was doing a lot of work there. So that gives you a sense of how I looked at this card today. Give it a shot yourself. See what you come up with, what's in your bowl, and who or what can provide that and why. I think you learn a lot by thinking about how to start with an empty bowl and fill it up. I hope this video goes far in the world of YouTube bowl-related videos. I did a search on that just to see. So what I found was videos about bowls, the sport, kind of like bowling, but it's not bowling. I mean, it's not bowling, uh, you know, 10-pin bowling that we think of in the United States when we think of bowling. You know, it's a bowling game. I, I assume it's more like bocce or bull. Is that what you call it in French? Or is that bread? Oh, that's a good thing to make in your Dutch oven, by the way, is a bull. Uh, Fr you know, French bread. I got a Rihanna video from a Super Bowl. I feel like you get a Rihanna video no matter what you search under. At least I do. I think it's because of that video where I talked about getting Rihanna's name right. That's probably why. That's the algorithm is like, send, send him a Rihanna video so he can say Rihanna. Saw a lot of videos about bowls that you ring. Do you know what I'm talking about? But singing bowls and healing bowls to relax you, to make you apparently make you fall asleep. Although I think, I don't think that's the main job of them, but it certainly seems to be a use for videos. You know, maybe it's re to relax people to help them sleep. Uh, at least that's what the videos say. So I guess this bowl video will be. Oh, and of course the shorts are, you know, on YouTube with bowls or people showing you things in bowls, usually food or some related thing, or appears to be food, which makes sense because, you know, it would defeat the point to have a short video of the singing bowls, you know, those meditative bowls. That would probably not be the best idea. Um, though I found out that the name for those singing bells are standing bells or resting bells because they're actually bells. They're used in re religious practices for meditation and so forth. Also to, as an accompaniment, I think. If, if you made one of these videos, let me know. But apparently that is what is common under this my search for bowls. So hopefully we can get high up there. At least this video will be the least relaxing and sleep-inducing? Maybe. Well, let me know if this is as sleep-inducing as the bulls. If it is, then, you know, maybe uh, the search for bulls, it'll be in the right place. So give this wild card a try. I think you'll get a lot out of it. And if you like this episode, no, wait, sorry. If you were bowled over by this episode, please give it a like, subscribe, and head to lifespotluck.com for more and lots of bowls. Good night.